Hello friends, good morning. In my last lecture, I had explained different ionization process using the Townsend's experiment. In this lecture, I will explain the factors which affect these ionization processes. The factors affecting ionization processes. So let us recall the Townsend's experiment. Let us recall the Townsend's experiment. In Townsend's experiment, there is a chamber. There are two electrodes, cathode and anode. In this chamber, there is gas at low pressure and it is connected to the voltage source. Here it is DC voltage source having potential of V. Spacing between cathode and anode plate is T. There is ultraviolet radiation on the cathode. Now, when there is ultraviolet radiation on the cathode, let us say one electron is ejected from the cathode and as it is negatively charged particle, it starts moving towards the anode. So, in the process, it collides with the air molecule and if the kinetic energy of this electron is higher than the ionization potential of the gas, then there will be breakdown of the gas molecule or the atom. And when this breaks, there is formation of one electron and one positive ion. So this process is cumulative and finally we are having number of electrons there and there is breakdown. So this is the primary ionization process also called as ionization by collision. Now let us see what are the factors which affect this primary ionization process or the ionization by collision process. So our condition is epsilon should be greater than Vi where epsilon is the kinetic energy of the electron and Vi is the ionization potential. Now let us consider this factor, epsilon. Now all the factors which govern the kinetic energy of this electron will affect the ionization process. Now first factor is voltage. If voltage is higher, then source of attraction for this electron towards anode will be more. So it will have more kinetic energy. So first factor is voltage V. Now for the same voltage, if we reduce the distance, then again force of attraction will increase. So there will be more kinetic energy and probability of generating more electrons will be more. So second factor is D. Now if we combine these two factors, we get E. That is electric field that is given by V upon T. E. So higher the V, more will be electric field intensity, more will be the kinetic energy. Lower the distance, more will be E, more will be the kinetic energy. So these are the two factors we decide the kinetic energy of this electron. Now let us consider this factor, Vi, that is ionization potential of the gas. Obviously, it will depend on the nature of the gas. If the gas is such that it has more ionization potential, then probability of formation of new electrons will be less. The third factor is nature of the gas. And fourth factor is pressure, P. The pressure inside this chamber. If pressure is higher, then electrons are more tightly attached to their respective molecule. So we require more energy to liberate the electron. So as pressure increases, the ionization process slows down. Normally, we combine these factors and this factor and write this as E upon P. Lower P faster ionization process, higher P, slower ionization process. So these are four factors which affect the primary ionization process also called as ionization by collision. Next is factors affecting the secondary ionization process. Now let us see what is this secondary ionization process. Here. In the first process, there is plated ionization by potential by collision, electrons and positive ions are generated. Now positive ions will start moving towards the cathode. 
they are heavy, therefore they will move slowly. Now few positive ions will recombine with electrons and form the neutral molecule. Now few of them will reach the cathode. They are called metallizable because their lifetime is large. Now when these positive ions collide with the cathode, they can liberate electrons. Condition. The potential energy of these positive ions plus their kinetic energy should be greater than 2W. W is work function of this cathode. Work function is defined as the energy required to liberate electron from the cathode. So if potential energy plus kinetic energy of the positive ions is greater than the work function of this cathode material, then the secondary electrons are ejected. The first factor which affect the secondary ionization process is this W, that is work function of the material. So it depends on the type of material, type of cathode material. Second factor, kinetic energy plus potential energy of these positive ions. So all the factors which were responsible for primary ionization process, they come here. So second factor is B, third factor is D, fourth factor is pressure and fifth factor is nature of the gas. We will be combine this and take E by B. So all the factors, all the parameters which affect the primary ionization process, they also affect the secondary ionization process. But in addition to that, type of cathode material also affects the secondary ionization process. Third process is photoionization. Photoionization means ionization by radiation. Here the condition is lambda should be less than or equal to h upon vi, where lambda is the wavelength of the incident light, h is Planck's constant, and vi is the ionization potential of the material or the gas. So here only two factors will affect. Number one, vi, that is ionization potential of the gas or the material and second is wavelength of the radiation. Now the wavelength of ultraviolet radiation is small, that is frequency is high. Therefore ultraviolet radiation is capable of generating the photoionization or photoionization by radiation of all the materials. So in this lectures, in this lecture I have explained the factors affecting the ionization by collision secondary ionization process and ionization by radiation. And in general, if we increase the temperature, all the processes will accelerate. That is ionization at higher potential, higher temperature. Thank you.